So, let's just go for it. Starting off right away, Puka Nakua and Kyle Hamilton, limited times, are still in the game until 314. So today I want to go ahead and open up this pack right here, which is a 95 plus overall team of the year player. There's a 9.8% chance to get a 97 or above. And I'll be honest, I need coins to try to pull or get Chad, um, not Chad, Chris Collinsworth. So because of that, we're going to, you know, do the thingy thingy where we credit card swipe and you guys understand. All right, so let's go down to TV. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. How much are these cards going for? 165 for the 95s. What are the 96, 97s going for? This is my next question. Sorry. I had to sneeze for a second. Uh, 350,000 coins all the way up to... Yeah, I'm on 350,000 up to 500,000. Interesting. And then Puka Nakua and the other limit is... They're 97s, right? Maybe? Wait, were they 98s? They were 98s. They are 98. I don't know why I thought they were 97s. 1.12 and 1.7 million. Okay, so... Let's do the, the thing. I'm covering my eyes for this one because, you know what? Why not? I feel like I get the best luck when I cover my eyes. Alright, just don't be a 95. Just don't be a 95. That's all I ask. Just don't be a 95, please. Alright, hold up. Okay. Alright. See Team of the Year logo. This is Gibbs. <clears throat> it's not Gibbs. It's the knockoff Gibbs. David Montgomery. The uh, fantasy football vulture, as they would say, who steals all the fantasy football points from Gibbs. <sighs> you know what? For the crap of it, hang on. We're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. Don't mind the fact that I'm watching a video in the background. Or oh, I was watching a video in the background before this. I did this video. I watch YouTube. Listen, okay? Things, things you shouldn't do is what I'm doing right now. And that is opening up this crap. We got four times... 91 plus overall, okay? Four times 91 plus overall. 91, 91, 91, 91, 91. Okay. Just get lucky once. Okay. <sighs> Come on, EA. Don't do me like that. I need the 97 Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> That's nasty. Alright, hold up. This is the last one. EA Sports, come on. You gave me two? Two Chris Collinsworths. Oh, lordy, that's painful. All right, hold up. How much is Chris Collinsworth going for? He can't be going for that much. And he does have 97 speed, though. And 97 speed's a lot. But he is also a set player, which usually set players, they just go for less because it's, you can complete a set easier. So, EA, you're nasty for that. That was they're 20K a piece. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just got kicked in the nuts. And the nut kicker was the esports. Why is there only two posted? I guess because he has 97 speed, people actually won his card. Which actually makes a lot of sense, to be honest. But 574,000 coins. Damn. And if I, um, 
after Gibbs sells, I'll have like 250. I also pulled this out of like the Super Bowl pack thing, which is actually really cool to be honest. In fact, I actually was able to pull that. But how much did Charles Woodson sell for? 91s. Yeah. About what I expected. Also, a little side note here. Cause I saw actual CC posted this on um, Twitter today about this. About the low price cap feature. Um, I, if you've been playing Madden for any length of time. Well, the last, like I think, three months. This has been a thing. By the way, just a little side note here. That's not me taking a shot at actual CC. But no, but this has been a thing. The whole low price cap feature. This has been a thing for a while now, and it's literally just so that people do not post cards up for too too small of an amount. It's literally a point of killing sniping. We've talked about this many, many times over, I want to say the last three or four Maddens, I feel like at this point, where I've said that this eventually would be a thing. Eventually, they're going to get so tired of coin sellers and so tired of, you know, sniping that they're going to just take it away and destroy, you know, the well, add a low price cap feature. Once they added a high cap feature, you knew this was kind of just inevitable. It was going to happen eventually. EA Sports was going to be like, you know what? We did a high cap feature, and they're letting us get away with it. Therefore, they're not going to complain if we give them a low cap feature. And that's exactly what this is. It's just a ability for EA Sports to take away you know, snipes, and it is what it is, you know, you, if you know EA, they want you to spend money in the game, and the way you spend money in the game is by not sniping any cards and making coins yourself, they want you to only be able to make coins by spending money, it's a, it's a dull crap that EA Sports, you know, kind of regurgitates out of its mouth, but as you know, it is what it is, we can't really do anything about it. I mean, we could piss a fit and say, oh, that's wrong, whatever, but EA is not going to care. So it's kind of a age-old problem with EA, but with that being said, it is it is what it is, and if you have a problem, EA Sports don't care about it. And if you say anything on Twitter, I've learned this lesson myself, they will ban you. <laughs> if you comment on their post and say something that they don't like, they ban you. <laughs> Whoever runs the EA Sports Twitter, and this is not supposed to be an EA Sports hate video, but whoever runs the EA Sports Twitter, they really have a very, very small ego. Or, I mean, they're, um, not ego. What's that word uh, where you're like, you can't take any criticism? They have a very small... See, I want to say, I want to say, um... Tiny, they're tiny D, but at the same time, no, it's, it's like a... Oh, I can't think of the word. You guys probably already thought of the word down below. But, yeah, they, they get really upset very easy when you criticize them. Uh, which is funny because for a company that usually just kind of does whatever they want to do and doesn't listen to the consumer, you would think they just wouldn't care and they wouldn't have a small, like, they wouldn't be, you know, upset when someone criticizes them. But, nah, man, they just don't care. They're like, we don't care, but if you criticize us... Oh, yeah, we're done with you. We're we're going to make sure that you're, you know, hate your life pretty much. I don't know. Um, Not really, because you can't hate your life just for not following EA Sports on Twitter. <laughs> Probably not. Like this new mystery pack that doesn't contain an Ultimate Legend pack, even though they updated it. I am rambling. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.